Hey, good morning and welcome to this very special new video by Flowmotion because this night the news came out that there's a new version of After Effects so I'm actually still in my pyjama but anyways there's a big big really big new feature in this version and this one is called Content Aware Fill Video. So before I get any further on this let's jump directly into After Effects. I have already opened the new version and let's directly create a new composition and call this our content aware fill video and hit OK. And before we start with a real example, I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to create a new solid. Let's just make it red and hit OK. And now let's bring up the content aware fill effect. And that's actually a new window. So you go to window and there you have it, content aware fill. What can we see here? At the moment it's black because the whole frame is filled with a red solid. But we can change that by just simply drawing a quick shape here with the mask tool. And now you see what this preview window is showing you. It shows you a representation of the alpha channel. If we go to the mask, we could subtract it and now you see that we have a hole. And this is normally what you want to do. Think of it as the brush in Photoshop. You create this area that you want to use for your content aware fill. Then you have your alpha expansion. So the bigger this gets, the bigger your region that you want to fill gets. So I'll just leave it at around 10. And then we have a fill method. If we want to just fill a surface, if we just want to make an edge blend, or if we want to remove an object. So let's just keep it pretty basic and do a surface right here and then we generate a fill layer. So this is the basic workflow. You define an area where you want to apply your content aware fill, then you choose the method and then you generate a fill layer and this will automatically create a new layer and tries to fill this hole with whatever After Effects think fits best. And let me tell you, this works pretty good. So it's analyzing the footage and then it's rendering all the frames. And boom, we have a red solid. So this is not that special at the moment, but we can look at the fill layer. It's an XR sequence. We also have a new folder over here with my fill. And let's just solo this. And it has created the fill just like we wanted it. But let's be honest, that wasn't that hard. So now let's try it with a real world example. Let's say you have a, like a really nice shot of a landscape, but there's someone just passing by. And I guess you know it, it's the music video from Harry Styles. So we have this beautiful landscape, but yeah, obviously there's an object that we want to remove here. So let's do it the exact same way. And I'm just doing this pretty rough here. And you can create your alpha mat as you want. You could use Mocha, you could use the Roto brush, you could use a mat. Whatever works for you best will be recognized within the content aware fill window. You just have to create an alpha channel. So I'm just doing a really, really rough shape. For the moment I'm going to none. Go to the first frame, to the last frame, just this a little bit and this works pretty good. As you see, I only have four keyframes here. Maybe let's create a fifth. Now let's set it to subtract. So we have the hole in here and the content aware fill knows where to replace it. But this time we want to remove the object. So I'm going to generate the fill layer now. And again, it is analyzing, which in this case takes about 30 seconds. And in less than one minute, it has created this EXR sequence for me. And let me just play this one back. And isn't this nice? We have just removed our unwanted object. I would say from beginning to end, it took me less than two minutes. Isn't this great? So this is what After Effects has created for us. And let's just try it once more have another real world example for you. I have another great shot of this iconic Marvel movie Black Panther. So let's just remove our main actor here. 
And again, I'm trying to do this with least amount of effort. Doing a keyframe, the first frame, go to the last frame, adjust it a little bit, go to the middle, and that's my typical workflow. So, but before we do that, of course, we have to go to subtract again. So again, we're going to remove the object and hit generate fill layer. And while this is analyzing, let me tell you what create reference frame means. So you could also click that button and then you would get a frame and it automatically opens up Photoshop for you. And in that frame, you could paint out everything that you don't want to have. And After Effects uses that as a reference frame to generate the fill layer. So I've used that method in this example here where I have removed the Statue of Liberty. But of course I had to patch like the socket and parts of the statue that haven't been there before. And this works just perfect. And let me tell you something, I'm also going to make an in-depth tutorial about this technique very soon. And while watching this tutorial, why don't you just click that nice subscribe button? Because the more subscribers I have, the more likes and comments I have, the more of those videos I can create for you. And anyways, what do you think of this new feature of After Effects? Because I think it's absolutely incredible. But what do you think? Let me know. And isn't that just amazing what After Effects is capable of doing right now? I can think of so, so many different ways to use that. You could do like tracking marker removals, wire removals, you could use it for beauty retouches or drone shadows or remove like microphones that are in the shot, remove like unwanted equipment that you still have in your shot or simply remove elements that don't fit into your shot like for example if you do like a historical shot. So I really hope you learned a little bit in this early morning tutorial. I think I'll go back to bed now and I hope that you go back to After Effects.